sitting outside waiting for me. It's a little scruffy. Let's go out. It's most likely going to fly away when I go out, but... Hey Scruffy! How are you doing? Don't go. I'm coming to feed you. Let's open the screen door. It's going to be a really another hot day today. Another 34 degrees. Hey Scruff! Good morning. Want to come up and I'll give you some food? Hey? Oh no, your feet is empty, isn't it? Hang on. I'll go and get you some. This bird over here, he's got some food. I put that out this morning. Hello, you. Let me open my container. Whoops, get a scoop out. You want some more, do you? All right, I was going to give this to Scruffy, but there you go, you can have that too. Hi. I'm now I've got to fill up my little scooper again. Let's go over to Scruffy. Hey, Scruffy. How you doing, birdie? I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. Here you go. There we go. Good to see you. How are you feeling, hey? You growing any new feathers yet? You're a bit of a mess, aren't you? All right, well, you enjoy that. We'll see you tomorrow. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I just did that um, rainbow paw with my split cup and I've got all the paints left over, well, a little bit. So I thought I'm just going to use them up, all right? Righto. If you saw the last one, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to pop a little bit of silicone oil in these. These haven't got very much in, so just have one drop. This can have two. You can have two. You can have two, you can have one, and you can have two. And I found some white left over from yesterday's pouring workshop. I just, if I've got any white or black left, I just put them all into a, a cup and save them. Because you never know when you just need a little bit of white. So I'll just give these, I was going to move on to my spring blossom pour and I thought, oh, I was going to put all these away and put lids on them and I thought, oh, let's just, let's just pour with them. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Better than trying to keep all the paint. Um, what am I going to do? I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's not much left of the red. Let's just use all that up. I thought I'll just do a flip cup and see what happens. Why not? I think some of the colours I might be able to layer twice and then others like this orange. There's not much left of the orange and the red so we'll just have one layer. Or maybe they'll just have one layer of all. I hope I've got enough paint. This is one of those uh, 30 by 40 centimetre cards that I use. There's enough yellow in there to do two layers of something. Although, oh, maybe I can do some yellow at the end. Uh, let's do some white. Separate. Oh, that's a bit thin. See how it's falling through? Put some white in and then we'll go with some green. And some blue and then I'll do some more white before I start with the purple tones I should, I maybe should no I was saying I should start with white but then that would end up with pink wouldn't it because I started with red okay and then we'll do some of this violet And some more white. I'm just going to fill this up as much as I can. What else do I want? Let's try some more yellow. Yellow and purple are okay, aren't they? <laughs> oh, and some more green. I 
not really a green person. Mm, all right, I can't really fit any more in, that'll have to do. Leftover paints I may have to use for the edges. And there's no way I can flip this, it's too, too full. There we go. out of the way if you want to see what colors I use just use that uh, watch that last video I was doing a, a rainbow pour so it's got the red and orange and yellow green blue purple indigo and violet right uh, let's see what happens it's probably gonna be a huge mess in which case I won't put the video up and I've just been talking to myself for no reason for the last 10 minutes Just have to try and break up some of that yellow there. Probably wasn't a good idea. I don't like breaking my colours. Right, oh. Let's do a bit of a torch and see what happens. Not even expecting great things from this pour, but pour's a pour. Okay, you've gone to the trouble of doing it. I just will follow it through. It's a bit drippy here on the bottom. Come on, cells. They're having trouble coming up through the um, opaque white paint. The cells can pop up through a transparent a lot more easily than they can in opaque, especially if the opaque paints a bit on the, the thick side. They have a bit of trouble. Righto. So you don't like that now, how I've done that. Probably should have just left my yellow. Now I'm going to have to tip it off. Oh, there's a caterpillar. I haven't had one of them for a while. Look at my white. Splitting. I did have my white a little bit thicker for the, um, I don't know, the white's from um, yesterday. I don't know. To do that. I don't particularly want to get too much paint on my wire cooling rack because it's difficult to clean. So if I take my card right to the edge like that, I can let the paint flow over there instead. Look at my white paint, you guys. It's splitting. That's what happens when your paint's too thick. It's only been sitting overnight. It's not like it's been sitting a long time. It shouldn't have thickened up that much. I didn't actually check it today. I just thought, oh yeah, let's use that. I didn't actually check it. So I don't think it's going to be a very attractive pour. As I said, it was just leftover paint although it would have been much more attractive if i hadn't if my white hasn't split see how it does that so you guys that are using global may or may not be aware that the global white does this if it's too thick i'm gonna leave that bit of purple there Um, what colour can I put on the other end? Um, how about some dark purple? Let's make it a bit thinner though. Splash of water. It's a bit of a shame really, it's not a bad pour. Except for that white. So 
So if your paints are doing this, splitting like that, it's most likely because it's too thick. And then when you go to stretch it, it's, it's lost its elasticity um, and it can't stretch anymore. And then it just splits. It's probably the best way to explain it. some of this off but not all of it I have a little dark purple corner there see I much prefer to have a block color than like a messy looking corner I personally just think it looks nicer because you've got block colors in here you know you've got your background it's a block color so I don't mind having that rather than a, a messy corner that's been poured over the top of just me that's what I reckon Quite like these red cells so I'd rather keep that and try and get rid of some of that if I have to tilt anything off. <laughs> and that didn't end up keeping up purple. After all that it's gone skis. All right well this is going to be a paint a video on split paint. I can actually show people what split paint looks like and what not to do. All right, that'll do. Normally I would just scrap this, pop it straight in the bin, but I'll take you down for a close up so you can see what the paint's done. And yeah, I'll, I'll put it up on YouTube. You guys can, can see what split paint looks like. I'm just trying to see if I can get some more cells up under this haze of white. There's a lot of white through there. All right, let me get you down for a close-up. Bit of a shame really that I've had to waste that paint from my lovely rainbow pour, but what can you do? All right. So you can, it's more noticeable here, the white against the dark. So it's split, hasn't been able to stretch. Um, it may, it's, it's hard to know if it's the white that's done that or whether that's the purple that's done that. Um, see over here the red's okay it's hazy in there as well in that light purple but then that purple ring there is fine I'm, I'm assuming it's the white I usually have problems with the white if it's if it's too thick it does that so not an attractive pour at all But uh, I think it's worth putting up, as I said, just for education-wise, what split paint looks like. And uh, because it's too thick, it just loses its, its uh, elasticity. It's a mouthful. Loses its elasticity. So there you go. Hope you've learned something. <laughs> It's a bit embarrassing putting up a paw like this, but hey, I do fail paws. I definitely do. And there's one of them. Righto, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.